Ready? You want to bring a blanket? No. No? You good? I want bands. You do? All right, maybe we can get some. You got money, do you want to order? No, but they... Where is your money? Where's the rest of your money? Okay. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the vlog. So, as you can see by the title of today's video, Mason is going to have a sleepover with his dad. Um, yeah, so... Callie's all ready to go. She's gonna take a little ride. We're gonna take a ride to the, into the city and drop Mason off at his dad's house. You got your backpack, bud? You ready? Callie. You ready, Mace? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm on our way. Can we get vans? Babe, everything's closed. I can order them and they'll be here in a few days. You can order them on Amazon. I want them to be. I mean, we can check and see if Dix has like pickup, but I don't. I don't think so. Target doesn't sell vans. I don't know. Like, everything is, like, closed. You guys, I had a pretty productive day today. Um, I literally was able to, like, almost clean, like, the whole house. Except for, like, this little, little, little area. I saw um, in the But I was able to, like, sweep the floors, mop the floors. I cleaned the, the couches. I, con I conditioned the couches. Cleaned the counters. Cleaned the chairs. Clean the stove. The only thing I didn't do. Oh, I even cleaned the fridge. Like, the fridge is even. Oh, actually, okay, I'm not going to take credit for what Scott did, but Scott cleaned the fridge. So, fridge is clean, but yeah, like, we. I don't know about the freezer, so I'm not even going to open it. Um, But, like, everything. We cleaned everything. Okay. But, but, there's this little mess over here. My drawers are still getting fixed, so that's why I don't have drawers here. But yeah, so there's like this whole mess. But honestly, that's like the only mess in the house. Oh, and the toy room is a little messy. Oh, and the deck. Um, but right now, there's a tree service company here at my house. And they are taking down this tree that, like, here, just let me, like, peep this, guys. I don't know if you guys could see, but this tree is a freaking disaster like last summer was so rough butter popcorn jelly bean okay sorry but anyways so like the this this tree right here i don't know if you can see it but it's a it's a disaster it's in a terrible spot it's a cottonwood it's old it's just a terrible terrible tree but it makes a huge mess in the pool with all the leaves so um, I decided to invest in removing this tree. I think it's gonna, I think it's a great investment and I think it's gonna make my life easier, the kids' life easier, and just, it's gonna be less of a headache and really less work. That's, I guess, what I'm trying to create less work for myself, um, because the leaves that are in the pool, the amount of leaves that fall in that pool from that tree are, like, ridiculous. You ready? I know, jelly beans are so good. I'm gonna grab a couple of jelly beans. And I'm gonna grab some of these chips, you guys. These popcorners, mm, they're so yummy. Oh, and I got new shelves for the pantry, like extra shelves. They're over there. Um, I need to put them in here today. So this is gold, and then that is gold. Oh, let me share one more thing with you guys. Okay, so I have something in the crock pot. Um, I have mild jardinera, potatoes, a little bit of water, and turkey tenderloin. Yes, turkey tenderloin. Let me just show you guys the package really quick. So this is what it is. It's um, this turkey tenderloin brass Jenny O. And then I've got these little um, potatoes in there as well. So I'm gonna cook it for about four hours on low in here. Actually, I might turn it to high. I think I am gonna turn it to high. Not I'm gonna turn it to high in about four hours. It should be done and tender and like falling apart. 
and oh so yummy. So I didn't add any seasoning, no salt, no pepper, just just the jardinera. What do you want me to have? A cinnamon jelly bean? I don't know. <laughs> All right, ready? Let's go. Come on, is that Come on. cinnamon? No. Mm-mm. Not cinnamon. So we're headed out, but I wanted to show you guys. You guys could see him. That tree is freaking huge. But yeah, they're cutting pretty much like where he's at, like straight across off. So we are getting into the city. Mason, can you see Chicago? Uh -huh. I can see Chicago. Uh -huh. So we are getting, we're almost into the city. Lincoln Skate Park. Mason wants to go to the skate park. He brought his scooter with him. Um, okay, so Mace, you're going to be taking your phone with you, right? Yeah, I like even though you're coming home tomorrow, can you please check in with me tonight? Like, call me tonight and call me tomorrow morning. I call you in the morning. You call me in the morning? Uh -huh. Okay. Call me in the morning. All right. And then just sleep with your phone with you. Okay? Yeah. And if you wake up in the middle of the night, call me, okay? I'm I'm nervous, Mason, okay? Okay. <laughs> Are you nervous too? No. You're not? You ready? Oh you guys. Ugh, my stomach is like oh my stomach's like a knot. Who are you calling? Oh my god, my goodness. Who? Jose. Jose? Oh my god. Uh -huh. uh, Mason, you probably don't want to be like calling everyone when you're with your dad either, okay? okay? Spend time with him. Just check in with me or grandma, like one of us. Please. Okay, you guys. So. Oh boy. Oh, Mason's dad. Hello. Um, we are just getting on to 290 from 90. Oh, okay, okay, I just came out to get the pizza. I'm gonna walk back down. Okay, yeah, because it's still, I'm a few minutes away still, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, uh, I'm just gonna have my blood inside to kind of see if the pizza came. And I was kind of surprised. It's a little bit of a Oh, okay. Yeah, no, give us a few. Okay. Okay, okay. Alright, bye. Two and a half years ago, I got like the worst phone call of my life. I was like nine months pregnant with Ocean and I got a phone call from Mason's dad and it was like the phone call that every parent dreads. I'm gonna drop Mason off with his dad and then we'll talk about it. I just, I don't wanna like get emotional right now, right? Mason means the freaking world to me. All my kids do, but Mason has like a really soft spot in my heart. Like, and just like, he's just really special to me. And he means a lot. And all my kids do. But, Ocean. I, yeah, Ocean, Sierra, Ralphie, and Callie. But I just like, you know, like, you know that feeling like, I don't know, when something's already happened, it's happened. Like, you'll never forget, but it's okay to forgive. And, like, I... I think now that Mason thinks he's ready, and he might be ready, he might not be ready. We don't know. Um, we don't know unless we try or unless we, you know, like, baby steps. So he's going to sleep over at his dad's one, one night. Um, but I'm just so nervous. Like, oh, I'm so nervous. I feel like... I don't know, I just have like this feeling in my body. I'm like, oh. I'm just so nervous. You know, like when you get so nervous and you like work yourself up, up you work yourself up and you feel like you're gonna like pass out. 
That's how I feel. So I did start seeing a therapist after Mason's accident. And, um, I don't know. I just, like, was diagnosed with secondary PTSD. So, um, like, if you're really close, like, if your loved one is diagnosed with PTSD, you can have secondary PTSD. So it kind of, like, rubs off on you. Um, so, so, yeah, I definitely definitely have a little bit of PT, secondary PTSD, but I'm, I see someone and I'm working through it, so I'm okay, but I'll be okay at least, but alright, so I'm gonna stop here, we're gonna get to Mason's dad's house, drop Mason off, say goodbye, and then I'll be back in a few minutes to, uh, to, 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 tell you what happened to Mason on August 12, 2017. Alright guys, so, um, I actually, I was able to drop off Mason, everything went smooth. I'm a little nervous. Um, just something, I don't know, just, I have like this little, like, nervous, like, bug knot in my stomach. Um, but I, I totally forgot that I had an appointment I had an appointment um, to see my injection girl. So I went there and had like my Botox just touched up a little bit and my on my eyes, my crow's feet, and a little bit of like right here, my angry face. Um, so, and then I also had my lips touched up a little bit. So that was nice because it kind of like took my mind off of everything. And I don't know, just like, it's nice, like during this whole quarantine thing, it's nice to have like you time and like to do something like to make yourself feel good. Um, not, not, not necessarily feel better, but like feel good. You know, it feels good to pamper yourself, right? And we can't like get our nails done or our hair done. Some of us can, you know, but there's a lot of us that, that don't have connections and can't. So anyways, it felt good to see my girl and get touched up because it's been I haven't gotten touched up since like uh, before I was pregnant or before I found out I was pregnant at least so okay um on August 12th 2017 I got this phone call from Mason's dad it was actually a voicemail and this was a voicemail Natalia this is Chip um Mason hurt himself um, he's at the hospital right now. I'm going to be calling you back in a few minutes um, to give you all of the information. Okay. I would like to see if you could come down and meet me here. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So I, I contacted Mason's dad immediately after I heard that message. And, you know, he was calm, cool, collective, like, you know, Mason's okay, do you want to talk to him? And I kept asking what happened, what happened, what happened? And he didn't want to tell me. Um, he didn't want to tell me, and, and I called my mom, I called my grandma, who I'm really close to, and they, my mom's secretary at the time, like, found out what happened and but Mason's dad still like wouldn't tell us what happened even when I heard what happened like I couldn't believe it you know it was one of those things that like it just doesn't happen you know it just didn't didn't seem real and then like the fact that I talked to my son when I was on the phone with his dad um I talked to my son he was crying hysterically like I still like remember his cry, it was like, like he was crying for mommy, he was in so much pain, I can just hear in his voice, like, how much pain he was in, um, so, what happened, so, I, I still didn't know what happened, I didn't know what happened until I was, 
um, about 10 minutes away from the hospital. He was at Lurie's Children's Hospital in Chicago. Hold on, Mar Call Callie, we're almost home, okay, baby? Almost home, baby. Okay, sweetheart? So, I'm like five minutes away from my house, but okay. So, um, I was only a couple minutes away from the hospital. You guys, I drove, I kid you not, like I drove on the shoulder, nine months pregnant, drove on 90 on the shoulder the almost the entire way. As soon as I hit traffic, I was on the shoulder. It was a, it was a Saturday and traffic in the city is just crazy. So, um, my mom called me. She asked me where I was. I told her I'm like about to get off the expressway. It's okay, princess. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Cal. I don't know. Like, I'm gonna try to talk. I don't know, like, how much you guys are gonna be able to hear. Um, I might have to re-record this. I don't know. Okay, so my mom called me, and she was like, "Tell you almost at the hospital," and I was like, "Yeah, I'm just a couple minutes away." And she, um, she said Mason fell. She like she questioned it too. Like she. It just didn't sound real. Ugh. And I'm like, I have goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see this. I just like, and he's alive? Like he's okay? Like when I talked to his dad, his dad said, Mason's gonna be okay. He's in a lot of pain, but he's gonna be okay. He's going into surgery. I'm like, going into surgery? I had no idea how bad it was, but Know, he said they couldn't wait to do surgery. It needed to happen right away. They couldn't. I was minutes away from the hospital, and they they couldn't wait. They they had to take him back. The surgeon came out about seven hours later, maybe eight hours later. It was a very long surgery, um, and I sat there and I waited. My family was there with me, um, and they the surgeon told me gonna be okay which was assuring um, he said he's gonna be okay and he said that um, that that he I don't know how he worded it but something along the lines that he was the right person to do the surgery like he was the right surgeon to do this surgeon um, and yeah, just, <sighs> I couldn't thank Dr. Janicki enough. Um, he's an orthopedic surgeon. I, I just couldn't thank him enough. But, but I'm gonna end this video here. Um, you know, if you, if you guys wanna know the whole story, you know, what, what happened pertaining to Mason's accident, um, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. And, and comment down below if you if you want if you want me to do a video on on Mason's um, accident. There's there's a lot there's a lot more to it. Um, so so yeah. So pretty much Mason hasn't yeah he hasn't. It's been two and a half years since he had a sleepover with his dad, and uh, it's hard for me. It's very hard. Um, but. Thanks guys for watching. See you in the next one.